Hello everybody, welcome to The Collector Life. I am Nihal Gopinathan at your service and I am back, sorry for the pun Batman, <laughs> with another view this time of the DC Direct Nightfall Bane. Now I am super excited for this review because this figure in collector terms is a grail. It's hard to get and usually goes for scalper prices. And I must thank my fellow collector friend Varun who helped me get this. Hi Varun. And by the way, you should check out his Iron Studios Captain America 110 skill statue review. It's up on our channel. So please go check it out. Give him some love. All right. Now the Nightfall story arc for Batman is probably as important for Batman lore as maybe the death of Superman story is for Superman. Simply because this is, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first time a super villain or an arch nemesis of Batman broke him both mentally and physically. Bane just picked him up and snapped his back like a twig. Snap, just like that. That forms part of the first storyline, which is the broken bat. Part 2, we have a Batman who takes over the mantle temporarily, that's Israel. Uh, he's a more violent version of Batman, so he takes over the mantle while Bruce Wayne is recovering. And uh, part 2, who rules the night and part 3, night's end. We see how Bruce Wayne actually recovers from his uh, predicament and comes back to assume the mantle of Batman. But yeah, this is one of the most significant storylines in DC Comics, because it's the one that broke Batman's back. You've heard the story, now let's take a closer look at the figure itself. And when you take a look at it, you'll understand why Batman's back was broken. I mean, look at the muscle definition on this guy. What I love are the details. You can see the venom tube attached to his head. You know, a lot of tubes there. Nice silver colored tube going all the way to his forearm. His, uh, his hands you know, open, but ready to, you know, crush something. Just look at those muscles. Oh my God. This is like a dream body for anyone, honestly speaking. Nice little silver belt there. Only thing missing is probably the little red uh, buckle that comes with it. That's the only thing. And for a DC direct figure, this is extremely well articulated. You can put him in any different kind of poses you want. And the best thing is he stands on his own even without the base. Let me just try that here. Yeah, as you can see, he stands even without the base. Now, let's look at the base a minute for a minute. As you can see, nice little broken bat symbol, just like on the side of the comics here, as you can see there. And it's a basic base with a peg. It's a really lovely base. And uh, look at his face. I'll just zoom in on the face menacing red eyes everything's going for this figure everything a nice black running through it to complement the silver and the red and the white guess what this design inspired joel schumacher for that terrible batman and robin film so design wise that bane was on point but the character was, ugh. i was 12 at the time and i still hate that movie oh so much what makes Bane one of Batman's most terrifying adversaries is not all about the strength. He's also an intelligent man. You know, brain and brawn, both. And that's what makes this figure also look so great and imposing. Just run you through it again. Yeah, so that's it about the figure. I guess that's it for this back-breaking review. <laughs> Uh, but if you are a fan of Batman, if you're a fan of Bane and if you've read the comic, try getting this figure on eBay or Amazon.com or if you're lucky if some other seller is selling it because that's the only way you're probably going to get this figure. But it's a must have in your collection if you're a collector. In the meantime, just uh, like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye for now.